Hey guys, welcome back. So, let's see, where did I leave off? I was making this thing. This is... Oh, it's an even number... Oh, that's alright. It's it's going to be a tower, so I guess it doesn't really matter that much. Um, normally, with my houses, I like to have the have them one wide doorways. I'm uh, not really sure why. Uh, probably just because doors are easier than piston doors. It's like regular doors. Um, let's see, I need to... Eh, let's just leave it this way. Actually, I might... No, not right there, but I will for the tower. I'll remove all the dirt underneath it and make it stone. Just so that it's got the appearance that it goes underground, because I really feel like a tower wouldn't do very well if there wasn't at least part of it underground, because it would just lift right out of the ground, wouldn't it? I mean, like a strong wind could just knock it right off. I think. I mean, I really don't know, per se, <laughs> but, uh, you know. Up down here. There we go. That is a really long hallway, isn't it? Yeah, there's got to be something to do with this hallway. Uh, it's just, it's too long. It doesn't work very well. Um... Let's see, you know, we've got this tower here. Let's build up each corner. Um, is this really where I want this tower, though? Should I move it over one block? Maybe I can move it over this way one, and, like, over this way one. Yeah, let's try that. Because I don't like that I've got the too thick wall over here. It's just, I've never liked too thick walls. They're just hideous. Um, so that way, let's see, this corner will be there. This corner will be moving it over one, so it'll be there. Um, actually, this whole wall needs to get moved over one. Do I have more dirt? Yeah, I have tons of dirt. We're good. We're good. Um, oh, Etho just made, well, I say just, it'll probably be like two days ago for you guys. Um... Etho made a video on how the hunger system works in Minecraft, which I think is long deserved, long, long awaited, I should say. That's the better word for that. Um, because for so long, I've seen people struggling with, um, like, arguing about who knows how to how the hunger system works because nobody actually knew how the hunger system works. Am I out of cobblestone? I can't be out of cobblestone. I didn't use that much, did I? Well, I guess I did kind of use a lot. Um, but you know, like, I I pretty much knew how the hunger system works. I, I had taken it from, like, a comment in a video, though, so I can't really say for sure that I, I knew how it works. I just, it just happened that I was right. Um, or whoever I got it from was right, I should say. Uh, the hunger system is basically, when you eat something, there's two hunger bars. There's your regular hunger, hunger bar that you can see, and there's one that you can't see. And... <clears throat> the one that you can't see, it fills up at a... Uh, like, every food has a specific number w that goes with it that... Um, I said I didn't want to make this a tight corner, or an actual corner, but I'm going to. Uh, and I have just enough cobblestone to do that. Oh, oh. Gotta move this back one. Um, every... Um... Every food has a different number on it that fills up your saturation bar, which is the second hunger bar. Um, and the saturation bar gets used up before your regular bar does. Um, see how it's it's shaking a little bit? Like there. And there. Um, that just means that the saturation bar is empty, and the actual hunger bar is going to start depleting when I do stuff. Um, everything from running to hitting things to taking damage does reduce your hunger bar. Jumping, uh, I, I believe... Uh, I, yeah, I think... <sighs> Etho did a test, and 20 jumps equals one half of a hunger, bo hunger point thing. Um, so I need to go check if I have more cobblestone. So the, um, and everything that you do has a different 
reduction thing on it. I need to move this house down right here because this road, it, I, I don't fancy it. Um, I don't like how this little piece of land here is raised up, and so is this house. It just makes for an ugly road, and the fact that you know there's just this, I don't know, I don't like it. Um, but that shouldn't be too hard to do. It's a very small house. I mean, I could just get pistons and do, and do that, just clear out a hole underneath the house, and then just push everything down. But it's more likely that I'll just tear it down and build it again. Uh, this house should also be down one. Because I don't like that it's raised up like that. All of the doors should be on the ground or have stairs up to it like this. Which, I mean, I could add stairs up to it like that. But I don't really want to. So. Also, this could use a road right here. Because the road doesn't really connect from here to here. You have to go all the way around the farms. Do -do -do, do -do -do. And I need to fix this road, too. I haven't actually been over here for a while. Um, and comes back around to here before it goes back into the city, which is really weird. I should just add another road here that just pulls around this farm. Anyway, also, I want to raise this road right here a bit, at least until it gets past this thing right here, just because... Ugh. Yeah, like I said, these farms need to go, really. Uh, I need to make new ones that look much better. And are hopefully more efficient. Where is my house? Okay, it's over here. We're good, guys, we're good. His butt has a creeper face on it. Stop looking at me. No, look the other way. That's not the other way. <laughs> Did you guys see that? It, it looks like it's got a... Oh, that one doesn't. He's got, like, a creeper face. There's the, the mouth... And the eyes, that's funny. Well, it's more like a frowny face than a creeper face, but, you know. You know what I mean. I didn't mean to sleep. It's a good thing it didn't let me. Uh, yep, yeah, we're out of cobblestone. Fantastic. Okay, so, uh, we also don't have any glass, so those windows wouldn't have worked for me. Well, we have a ton of sand over here. Let's go get some of that sand. Um, nice, big, ripe desert. Ripe for the... Ah, that was bad. <laughs> nice big desert right for the taking. I've been collecting eggs because I do want to make a chicken farm. It'll be a nice way to, uh, if, if any of you watch B double O, he's got a nice little chicken farm going where he just runs in and grabs it. He did. Blah, 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 blah. Wow. Okay. Twice in a row. Um, he just runs in and throws a, throws a bunch, he runs in and picks up a bunch of eggs. God, I'm sorry for my speech today, guys. Uh, because there's like, 20 chickens in the thing at any given time, so he just runs in and picks up, like, five, ten, or uh, five eggs, maybe six eggs, maybe 13 eggs, maybe 20 eggs, maybe he has, like, 50 chickens in there. How do I know? Um, I should probably just stop talking, but I'm not going to, because that's how I roll. Uh, he does have a lot of chickens in there, and he gets tons of eggs from it, so he just runs up and throws more chickens in, and once he gets enough chickens in, he just goes in and calls the herd, so to speak, and uh, gets like 20 chicken meat out of it, and then uses that for food until he runs out, and then he goes back and does it again. Well, he he throws the eggs in pretty often, I'd, I'd imagine, but um, he only harvests like every couple times. So, that's that seems like a good way to get food. I think I would do it differently, though. I would have one for eggs, and then one for actual chickens. Uh, he does breed the chickens, too, to get even more. So, um, it grows pretty quickly. Because, I mean, once you've got 30 chickens lying around and you breed them all, like, four times in a row and throw all their eggs back at them, you get quite a few chickens pretty quickly. Um, but if I do that, I'm going to do it a little bit differently. I'm going to have one for eggs, specifically, and then one for meat, because... I, I do want to have eggs for cake and stuff. I mean, we don't really have... I don't usually use cake, but I never... Like, I don't actually ever make cake in any Minecraft game. But regardless, I want to have the eggs there just in case. Also, they're fun to throw at people. I mean, not like there'll be any people on here, but... Uh, you know, just for throwing at mobs or whatever if I get bored. <laughs> or I could just throw them in lava and watch the chickens die. But... I mean, I don't do that. I'm not mean. <clears throat> so, um, let's see. We finished up the house this episode. Uh, slept, like, twice, I think. Maybe once. I don't know. I lose track of time. 
I don't even know how long we've been recording this episode. I'm going to assume it's been about eight minutes. Because uh, the last time I checked, well, yeah, last time I checked was six minutes ago. And, uh, it wasn't right away at the beginning of the video, so we're... Is there a, there's a skeleton in that house? Okay. I'm worried that a creeper's gonna come in. Okay, we're gonna, oh my god, what? You get away, dude. It doesn't count as looking at him through glass, does it? I'm, I'm not sure. Um, I know... I, well, I, I wasn't really sure if looking through glass would make him angry or not, because... I mean, I've seen glitches where you just, they just get angry when you weren't looking at them. Uh, particularly on the one of the ultra-hardcore things that the whole Minecraft server was doing. Um, did a skeleton get into one of these houses and I forgot to put a door on it? I don't know why, but I just thought that was the case. Okay, so we got plenty of sand now. We can make some glass and actually get started moving these houses a little bit. Um, okay. <coughs> there we go. I really need to put some stairs there. Where did I put those stairs? And just for my sanity... No, not, not what I wanted. Okay, dude, you're in the way. Why do they always get in the way? Always in the way. Um, that's... There we go. That's good enough for now. I may have to raise this house up one, and then just have it come down to meet these two. I would like to raise this one one, but that's not gonna happen. Um, so, yeah, um, there's a space over here, right? I keep forgetting to fill it in, I don't know why. I would like to put cobblestone there, but I don't have any right now, which means I really need to get some. Uh, right, I was gonna smelt that sand. Okay, put that in there. Uh, nope, there we go. And toss this stuff in here. Oh, that was the first um, sugar cane that I grabbed, so I'm glad I grabbed that. Um, I don't really know what I'm going to do with that. Uh, let's make torches out of it. Since we were a little bit low, got some glass, but we're going to need a lot more than that to uh, to finish up our house. So, let's see... Um, like I said last episode, I did do some more caving. Uh, nothing particularly interesting happened. I didn't die or anything. So that's cool. I grabbed some wood between sessions, too. It's really unfortunate that trees that grow in the swamp don't have vines on them. They really should, I feel. Um, jungle trees do, but the swamp trees don't, which is saddening. And actually, I'm going to make... Oh, there we go. Some shears. I could make some armor. I should probably do that. Um, let's grab some vines and apparently some leaf blocks. <laughs> I wasn't trying to, but that's alright. Uh, so vines, 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 vines. You never know when you're going to need some vines. Uh, or leaf blocks, actually. I may just try to make, like, a treehouse at some point. I mean, I've wanted to make a treehouse for a long time. Probably never going to happen. Um, because I'm not good enough at creative stuff. It's hard to not accidentally... Excuse me. <laughs> it's hard to not accidentally hit the leaves. Um, because they break, like, creative mode style. When you've got shears. Where did that... How did that get down there? I'm not really sure. Um, but if I, if I do ever decide to make a treehouse, it'll be nice to have a big supply of leaves on hand. Um, obviously, because these, the leaf blocks, um, that you place don't disappear, so you can just place them all over the place. I can make some bushes out in front of my house, um, that might be neat make a tree centerpiece in my house, because it's going to be underground, like I said, so I'm going to try to make one big central area with some kind of centerpiece. Um, 
it, again, if you watched old Beatable's old older videos um, from the the last world that he made, not the not the one he's currently on. Um, I don't remember why he started that one, that new world. It was probably because of an update. Um, and uh, but he had this neat underground area with a bunch of trees and a lake thing in the middle and it was really cool and um, just picture something like that although you know obviously not exactly the same um, but I do want to have some kind of central room thing <laughs> I can't reach those ones anymore okay, let's just chop down this tree now and while we're up here let's grab these there we go Look at all that green. <laughs> they look really, really green uh, in contrast to the, uh, with the, the darker green from the swamp. Okay, well, we're, we're definitely over now. So, um, let's see, what did I, what I've got, that's, that's a decent amount of leaves there. Um, I'll do something with that, but I don't, I'm not sure what yet. Man, this needs to be fixed. That's, that's easily rectifiable, though. I can just raise this up a bunch, so it'll just be particularly deep well. But yeah, okay. So uh, next time we'll try to do something. I may... S Actually, you know what? Oh, I know where I'm going to put my mine. I'm going to put it under the tower. That's a great place for the mine. It's out of the way. It's in something that doesn't need to be underground. Um, and actually... Should I have my mine there? Oh, now I'm second-guessing myself. Because <laughs> like, we could just dig the mine here and have it go straight down and just make that the way to get down to the... Um, the central room, and then underneath the central room, it'll just continue down. So, like, we'll have a little platform or something to get off at the, at the big underground room, and then we'll have... You can just continue going down to get down to the mine. So that way my mine will be center, centered around my house, and um, it won't be in the middle of my above-ground house, which can be kind of annoying if you've ever tried doing that. Yeah, this just doesn't work. I just need... <laughs> I just screw this. I'm just making it rectangular. Um, and for the time being, we will put our storage in this room here that I'm standing in right now. Um, just because it's big enough, you know, we can fit some chests around the edge here and over here and all that neat stuff. Um, maybe I'll put like a message board here for just stuff that I want to do. That would be that would be neat. Because I don't want to put stuff here, because then, like, walking down here, I want it to be free, like, empty all the way through. So if I just put my message board thing here, I think that'd be good. And I can put all my storage around here. And, uh, yeah. Okay. So, anyway, thank you for very much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.